Welcome to Game. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to GT Live. <laughs> what? Just trying to be helpful. <laughs> Apparently, wow. <laughs> Apparently, when I don't tell people stuff, I get in trouble. Jeez, uh, man. <laughs> I'm like, hey Steph, don't forget to plug in your computer. She's like, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was not like that. I was like, don't tell me what to do. Um, no, Matthew. Matthew's in the hot seat today. <laughs> Fine. Put me. Tell me fine. But tell me about. Happy Wyman. Monday, everyone. Matthew's in the hot seat today. So you may have seen his tweet. Uh, was this morning? Yeah, it was, this, it was this morning. Fr from this morning, because we're doing a big game theory episode that involves, in some mysterious way, you'll find out later, um, uh, knowing how much YouTubers have given to charities in the sort of recent history, last yeah, year the, or the so. The good works that YouTubers do. The good works do. that YouTubers do. And so we got like this. Massive. List the avalanche. Thousands. Uh, yeah, thousands of comments on Twitter and, and in other places of all of the uh, people who are identifying YouTubers and streamers, uh, on Twitch include, is included, um, who, around the web who have done like awesome work for charity. And so Matthew was like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm really going to need help with this episode, writing this episode and stuff. And I was like, great, no problem. Um, and so uh, as soon as the numbers start, you know, coming in. And so I, I was like, I went on Twitter today and spent like two hours, like two straight mind numbing hours of like scrolling through Twitter, painstakingly collecting everyone's like individual Twitter handles, how much money they raised, what the charity was for, leaving like little notes about like, was it Twitch? Was it YouTube? Like what did, what, what did they do? How is it unique? And I found out two hours in that Chris had been doing the exact same thing because Matthew had been like, hey, Chris, I need your help doing this. But then he said the same thing to me. And so Chris and I were doing the same thing for like hours today. And I was like, Chris, you did. And he was like, Stephanie, you did. And then we, it was, and then we were like, Matthew. <laughs> so that was how I spent my afternoon. But <laughs> good news is that a lot of YouTubers have donated to charity, you guys. It's great. We're going to have an awesome like data set for our episode. It's going to be super. It's going to be really good. So anyway, hey, we're playing Devotion. Welcome to Monday. <laughs> uh, when last we left things off last week, uh, we were in the process of unearthing the mysteries of what horrific thing we did to our poor sick child. Um, it's a, it's a Taiwanese game called Devotion. They were the same people who uh, made the game Detention, which we loved. Uh, and this one is already super scary, uh, very interesting, uh, very dark, very sinister undertones. It's really good. If you missed the first yeah. part of the playthrough, it's up on the GT Live channel right now, uh, back in the video archives. So please check it out. It is totally worth a watch. Uh, it's It's... A very beautiful and interestingly told game, yeah. uh, and it's also very startling and scary. So it's got like the best of all worlds. Indeed. Uh, and I was really eager to finish it today, um, but I know from Chris having looked at kind of where we are relative to the whole game, I thought we were close to the end, but apparently we're like at the halfway <laughs> point. Yeah. So I'm going to shut up so we can move through this at our usual snail's pace. He just doesn't want to be harangued anymore for, no, I for just telling wanna, people to do the same thing. I just want to move on. <laughs> for asking no, two people no for help on an episode. Motives. Hey, hashtag GT Live where <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Chris was too busy trying to yeah, find maybe the same if people I wasn't who, were, who were donating to charity. <laughs> yeah. If I wasn't being redundant all day, I maybe could have done that. You weren't redundant. <laughs> You the, I was the, redundant. I, I, when I asked you to help with the script, I thought you would have talked to me about you it said first. You said other with stuff the I gotta do. We already talked about. Oh my god! <laughs> oh like, my I have so god! Many I wasted so much time. I, god! I thought we would strategize. Just play the divide game. Divide and conquer. Remember when I said divide and conquer? <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> poor Matthew. Live. All I'm right. Just, let's apparently, poor everyone else. Here, I'm just yeah. making. Trust us. me. I don't want anyone to. I have way too much work to do right now. I don't need anyone wasting their time right now. I am stressed the <laughs> F out. 
especially if we're hoping to get me a day off on Wednesday and Thursday, which ain't gonna happen. But I know, trust me, I don't want anyone wasting time. Our house is under construction. A whole wall is gone. I've got like five scripts hanging on my shoulder. Oh my shoulder. gosh, you guys, wait. Stressed. Just wait for GT time tomorrow for spilling the tea. It's, there's so much going on. Matthew's absolutely right. There's so much going on. But let's take the next hour and a half to play a game. And try okay. to beat this game. I have, I have like over an hour, 15 minutes left of gameplay to get through and it's gotta, we gotta be done fast because it's an Ollie day. Right. So let's, let's go. go. Devotion, continue. All right. Let's piece together the pieces of our fractured history. When last we left things off, our child was suffering. We seem to be a terrible parent who is working all the time to try and care for her, which doesn't make us terrible, but like it does make us somewhat neglectful of the needs of our child. She is sick and we are in the process of putting together, we're in the process of putting together a little potion, which I forget if it's in this room or not, but we're in the process of putting together a little potion over here. Yeah, we gotta like brew this thing up. We gotta brew. It needs a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we need brewed in the pot. We need the silhouette, so we need a dress, Yeah. the hair, and then your steps admired by all, which We should, need a, yeah. Which should be... Hair, which it should be like a, yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. So, shoes in. Shoes are in. Good. Candles are lit. Candles are lit. We've got the dress. This game is lit, so this, bro. So this set us back a little bit from yeah. where we were last time, because okay. we had already put, put in the shoes in. all the shoes. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna zoom around. Um, shall I do a, like a brief recap of what happened last time? If you can, uh, If I can remember. So the suit, oh, darn. This, yeah. Wait, really, the suitcase is Oh, God, okay. Shoot, okay. So, okay, so That's we cool. are, uh, we're in the 80s currently, and uh, basically the game starts off, we're, we're a dad, and uh, our daughter is somewhere missing, maybe dead, we're not really sure. Uh, we don't, haven't seen her in person yet, oh. but whoa! But she is represented. Oh, God. Oh. Every time that doll is so creepy. She's represented by a spooky doll who does weird things, and uh, we have to us, try and way. interact with her in strange ways. And uh, basically, we find out that we're kind of like a bad dad. Maybe we think we might be a bad dad. Uh, bad the, dad, bad kid. Yeah. I'm having the, flashbacks the, to uh, duck season. Our daughter's mom was a former movie star, and we, as the dad, are a failed screenwriter uh, whose movies got really bad reviews, and so we're really depressed about that and angry and not spending time with our family. There you go. Work has gotten in the way Yet of the again. important things in life. Wow. Uh, and the daughter is also sick. We know that, so we don't know if she made it. Uh, we're, we're not sure if you know, we feel guilt about her not making it, just unclear. Um, but we have to go back and sort of recreate moments with her through these like dolls and mannequins that show up. Uh, that's a bit odd. That's pretty, uh, that's it. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well pieced together. So, stuff. and we're, we're doing like a bit of a time hopping situation where like we're, we're seeing different things across time. Uh, so right now we're in what, like 1985? but we can go into like other years in the same apartment. Okay. So we gotta go through this little sequence. Okay. Here. So this is recreating a day in the life of my daughter. Yep. Which is waking up and her being stuck in the house. Because she's sick. Right, she's mad about not being able to go on trips because she's sick. I do. We've entered into a period of the game, or a part of the game, where like they're doing really cool storytelling scenes. Yeah. Like, really creepy. Also, I didn't notice this the first time. Oh shoot! I guess that was a giant. Is that a giant blanket or what? There we go. There we go. Um, disease prevention is civic duty. The Department of Health caring for the public. Okay. So we were supposed to go on this trip with her. Right. I lied. So now she's stuck because she's really eager to get out. Yep. Funny enough, I didn't realize this last time we played, but last time, when we were in Taiwan, we were also supposed to visit Alishan. 
Wait, just, really? It's like yeah, it's like this big nature oh park my gosh, and like scenic right. resort. Yeah, I remember that. But the, we, the weather was so bad that we the couldn't. roads were like washed out and we couldn't go. That's right. But uh, but actually, we were also supposed to go on this same trip and we were not able to. So I feel her pain. Man, I don't. I don't, and I don't have a dad that I can blame. No, through, nothing. Through the lens of a creepy ceramic doll. Can't blame. Can't blame anything. Can't blame anyone but the weather. No, our trip to Taiwan got a bit rained out. It was very nice though. We did get to wardrobe gets open. We did get to spend plenty of time in this enormous mall, enormous mall, <laughs> with the most like expensive stores I have ever seen. Yeah, we didn't get to leave Taipei. We we stayed in this hotel that was adjacent to this mall with like literally a, just like unbelievable designer stuff that we couldn't afford. Good food. Yeah, great food. All right. Okay. So. So her pills have also disappeared. We don't know what happened to them. She threw them away. And we're gonna find out. The pills are actually coming to us because we are the fish. So, hey so yep. the family has a good, again, catching you guys up. Uh, the family had a good luck fish that at some point had died and disappeared from the tank in the house. Yep. And uh, apparently the girl had accidentally killed us by feeding us the, the fish her pills. Yes. Whoops. Let me rip out this this eyeball here. This marble or fish eye. Oh, James, you gotta go through the story to see what's getting. Shoot, sorry, sorry, I'm rushing through some of this stuff, but we ended the last live stream. caught a live stream. Yay! Uh, Kinley Henderson says dolls are so creepy. I hate dolls. Dolls are the worst. This dolls are are a little bit creepy. Uh, let's see. Cause here's the doll. Ah, isn't she cute? Jesus. Nope. Not at all. Um, the unintentional wild card says I've never seen anything like this. Uh, right? It's a it's a really cool game. Yeah. Uh, the, what is this? A candle? Red candle? Yes. Um, Red candle studios or whatever. It's a Taiwanese game developing studio. We played Detention, which was another one of their games. Um, they're great. Yeah. Like I mean, this game and the previous game have both been really good. Been so really I'm, good. I have high hopes for the end of this one. Their their storytelling is really strong. Okay, so. We've got our suitcase key. We're looking at little demon child. Child's play. The reboot happening right there. Creepy ceramic doll. Batman still locked for now. We're going into the storybook sequence. Which actually should do a decent job. Uh, uh, there is, just, just so you're all aware, there is uh, some mention of lag in the chat. I don't know if it's just momentarily. There's, it's always a good idea if you're experiencing lag to try to refresh. This game is so cool, I love it. Watch up, just hang with us. Shoo shoo shoo! Baba lay da liela. Tintin sen ling li chu xin le yi zhi hao da hao da de san zhu. Baba de gong jian zhun zhun ming zhong san zhu de jiao. So we finished our last stream right at the end of this story. Yong li baba ba zhong dao le. So the father gets gored by the boar. Gored by the boar. Gored by the boar. The daughter's like, oh no, he's hurt. I'm glad, I mean, this is a decent place to start though, because this is like the first time that you really get to see the interaction between the daughter and her son, and, or and the father. Yeah. Not in terms of the story, but in terms of him reading the story. And the daughter's really cute. Yeah, the daughter is like really adorable. She goes out to try and cure her father. I was getting a little, I was, I was starting to get a little emotional at the end of last stream because yeah. we know what happens. Well, we don't exactly know what happens to the girl, but it's not a good thing. We th uh, people are saying, some people are saying they think it's fixed. Um, try refreshing if you haven't. And some people are saying the audio is out of sync. <coughs> um, refreshing fixed it for me, says Misty Nelson. Just give it a shot. Well, it's good that we have a non-lagging version of I know. So she's got this seed, but she needs to water it. With the most precious water, which she has to go find. Sasa Xing Baba Off to the sky tree. People are saying it's largely fixed. 
，他走出丰饶神的宫殿，他来到小森林，一路向前。Uh oh, watch out, big bear! How are we gonna cross the river? Oh man! Throw that apple! Throw that apple! Bam! There goes for it. Good. He totally played that bear. Bear didn't know what was coming to him. Uh, people are saying the audio is still not synced. Yeah, we have uh, live connection from YouTube right now. We are working. On it. Okay. Are you mic'd, Chris? Um, now I am. Okay. <laughs> Great. Chris just said we have a bad connection from YouTube's side, so YouTube is not giving us. The full AOK, -okay, which seems to be the problem. So hang in there. There's not much we can do about it if it's on YouTube's end. This is what I'm excited about with Ollie. This is really cute. I'm excited about Ollie having like these totally outlandish notions of what can happen. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, you just use a magical soap bubble and the bear will fly away. And all adults is like, no, come on, that's stupid. I'm like, oh, it's it's childhood innocence. No, that's the best. So Trasha has got to get around the deer now. It's almost like these muffins. man. Again, platforms are the universal, or mushrooms are the universal platform. Right. Like nature's platforms, mushrooms. Especially tree mushrooms. Whoa! Woo! No fall damage. <laughs> so she takes out the little horn, and off she goes. And where you might think that this would just get her in the midst of a terrible battle against two raging bucks, instead she sneaks on past. Really adorable. Cool. they arguing about? They must have bumped into each other. They probably can't see very well. If they had some glasses, it wouldn't be a problem. Why don't you give them each a pair? So her solution to the deer story I don't fighting, know how I feel about this. I know, right? Like, that, that's the one thing where I'm like, what? Like for as adorable, you can't draw in your books. For as adorable as this childlike imagination is, and it is very adorable, I'm very touched by the childhood innocence on display throughout this book. However, Drawing in your storybook is a bit stressful to me. I gotta say, a bit stressed out because I don't know. I was never the. Were you the type of kid who would draw? No, I could not draw in storybooks. It wasn't until high school that I started writing in books, and then I would start writing in the margins. Of yeah, you get right. Then you can do it. Like textbooks and stuff. Yeah. Not textbooks, because those belong to the school usually. Well, in college. But like, yeah, sometimes in college or yeah. If you can feed my newborn baby, I'll let you take a drop of the spirit water home. Sage Liao's leading the sando. Yeah, we'll Sage Liao's jerk. Sage Liao is, Sage Liao is. St is, is Stingly. Basi is basically like the original troll. Yeah, totally. Original troll owl. Okay, so let's, let's finish off our little, little bug friend here. Yep, Whoop. grab caterpillar. Oh, Whoa, caterpillar got beasted by my amazing puzzle solving skills. Let me go feed him to the birds. Poor caterpillar. It wasn't that clever of a trick, honestly. I thought it was pretty clever. That one's too, too advanced for Ollie. Right now. <laughs> feed the birds some chocolate probably kills the birds. Right. We're not going to worry about that. It's fine. Sorry. It's fine. And thus the birds died. She's like, oh, that poor caterpillar. These poor birds. Right. Oh, wait. There we go. Bird got some chocolate. He's done for. Oh no, the spirit water is all dried up. But sagely bird, being the jerk that it is, didn't reveal to us that the spirit water is gone. So she comes back and she's like, oh no! But I found some dirt. But I found some dirt. Oh, Daddy. Oh, it's very sleepy. No. I feel like telling kids that 
I'm about to die, but like I'm sleepy, is almost worse because then you're like, oh man, every time I go to sleep, should I worry about that? Right? Like that's that's kind like, of teaching him to fear sleep. Or like, what are you Are you just gonna wait for him to wake up? That's also awful. But true to like every fairy tale ever, the she cries on it. The cry. Yep. It's basically, this is basically the story of Frozen. <laughs> And Tangled. Love Thoth. Ooh, also Beauty and the Beast. Love Thoth. <laughs> and helps tulips grow. Thing. Right? Father's cured. Yay! Huzzah! And there was much rejoicing. And he goes out boar hunting next week. Wait, what? <gasps> With Robert Barak. Come on! Learn, man! Game of Thrones, it's all one epic crossover. They look, actually, they just look after a sea of tulips. It doesn't pay right. well, but it smells nice. <laughs> Origami tulip. Nice. Tulip folded out of paper. She's colored in some of my discarded manuscripts. And this is it upside down. <laughs> just in case you needed to see that. Did you miss it? Okay, she's asleep now. The doll's asleep. And, and that's where we left things off. Okay. Cool. So this is now into new territory. Woo! -hoo! So I am not 100% sure if we just exit or we're all done with this section of the story. I think we might. This feels like a good. Yeah, I think we may be done with this section. Completion point for that's her signature. Okay. We got everything out of there. Presumably we would have. So I have the paper tulip. Yeah. But I didn't get any new items. It's not locked. I think that's okay. I think. That should be it, right? Yeah. Let me just make one last pass in here. Right. Just in case. We got the pills. We got the creepy imagery. Great. Got the desk. Nothing exciting yeah. going on there. Got my dead fish. Dead fish. The dad's, uh, the dad's face is also like scratched out of all the paintings. As is usual in these kinds of games, whenever the protagonist shows up in a picture, their head is conveniently missing. Right, which just adds to the creepiness factor that like they decided to ha frame and hang a picture that has someone's head like half chopped out. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we still need a dress yep. and hair. Yep. Something to represent the hair, right? Okay, so we've got Friday science tip. Dr. Shin Hong's column, melancholy is a precursor to anxiety. Sudden changes in living environment can exasperate conditions. Exacerbate. Sure. Uh, okay, so so we've gone through, so each of these doors represent, in case you weren't here with us last time, each of these doors represents a different year. So this is our 1986 hallway uh, that leads to our apartment circa 1986. And we have all the keys. We had to go through each of these like apartments sequentially in the earlier part of this game. So you kind of get introduced to each of the timelines and what's going on. Ooh, Ooh. This one's super romantic. But every looking. time you go in, they look a little different. Okay, July 27, 1986. Okay. Merciful Sigu Guanyin. Oh, Comfort man. of all beings, ease all suffering. Okay. Hmm. So we're making sacrifices to the gods. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, but I got all sorts of stuff. Yeah, wow. All right. Okay, so this is my daughter on camera. Oh, yeah, that's right. So she, she sings. Oh, man, she made no mistakes at all. Yes. It was a challenging piece. So basically, this is the Taiwanese equivalent of Star Search, it seems like. It does seem like that. With a four-time reigning champion. A bit of a stilted version of Star Search. Looking for a long Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so oh, she's competing man. against like much older people. She's competing against like Clay Aiken. Right? <laughs> yeah, Clay Aiken? Blurred photo, nothing can be made out. That is a lie. There's a hand and a piano, and I see it! I can totally tell that there's a hand and a piano. A shame this shot didn't come out well. Wish I could have retaken it. Oh, hmm. maybe we'll travel back oh, in time. Oh yeah, I bet we will. Oh, there's the camera. Okay, good. Camera placed on the table. So it's like a 20 year old class. There okay. is an empty tripod in one of the other timelines or we're gonna need to put that camera. Yeah, in 1980. Yes. Okay, the okay. tale of Sigu Guanyin, Ascendance. So this is kind of a recurring 
folklore that we've been finding as well. Yeah. The farmer turned the snake's body into a medicinal wine as directed by the serpent. As soon as he drank the medicine, the novice monk recovered completely. At this time, Sigu Guanin, Guanyin descended upon the countryside. Uh, he'd sensed the spirit serpent's virtuous deed. Though it was merely a, a mere beast, Sigu Guanyin was impressed by the serpent's ultimate sacrifice and so bestowed upon the serpent the title of guardian. Henceforth, whenever Sigu Guanyin helped the denizens of the world, the striped spirit serpent always followed close behind. Hmm. The story is recorded in the Legends chapter. Many believers have professed to seeing the figure of a snake accompanying all appearances. Here. So okay. it's basically a snake who rewarded people for kind of sacrificing themselves, like for the, the health and safety of others. others. Yeah. Let's see. Got our rice cooker. Oh, we got our, got our spirit pot still hanging in here. So true story. Um, my my college roommate in in college fr my freshman year was Taiwanese. She was from Taiwan and she had actually she had never been to the U.S. before uh, showing up for our first day of class. But I exchanged some emails with her beforehand because when you go to college, like one person brings the microwave, the other person like brings the refrigerator or whatever, and we were just like a random roommate assignment together. And uh, oh god, jeez, oh man. I'm like, oh, what a happy, what a happy hallway of childhood drawings. Oh wait, there's uh, the the evil dead spirit of my wife, my daughter. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We don't know who the spirit is. That God, I was in the middle of a story that was so rude. Uh, <laughs> right? How dare, how dare these they? evil spirits who probably died horrifically interrupt your story about college? I know. I know. Well, you might as well pause here too, because this is probably going to be something to read. Uh, my dream. Uh, do my oh, this is the daughter's dream. My dream is to become a child star because my mom is a superstar. When she sings, I sing along, and Daddy and Mommy say that I sing very well. I hope I can sing to everyone on TV one day, so I can go to singing class every week. So I go to singing class every week. I often participate in singing competitions. My father says as long as I work hard, everyone will be able to hear me sing. I also want to go out and play with my parents. They are always so busy every day. When I grow up, I will take them out for fun all the time. Great, I could use some fun all the time. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Oh, we have teleported into... Oh boy. Ooh. Marbles? It's marbles. Okay. It's like my like fish little eyes. stress beads or something? Oh, hey there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Should I call myself? Probably. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Spacebar? Oh, these are like little meditative beads. Oh, interesting. And so these must be like all the numbers. Are these like... Or like a ledger kind what? of thing. It kind of looks more like math homework. It does look like math homework. Oh wait, this is a little girl. This isn't the dad. Yeah. We're looking through the eyes of the little girl, and she's hearing her parents. Yes. Oh man. Yeah, people. I fell out of favor as my screenwriting. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, poor, girl. oh, poor little girl. It's really hard to do math homework. Yeah, she's trying to do her math homework, but her parents are arguing. Her mom wants to go to work, but her dad's like, we'll take care of any everyone. Watch his teapot break your plate. That, what, what's wrong with my fish? Right? Huh. Huh. Weird. Huh, so I'm, I'm giving oh, all so, and now she, and now the girl thinks it's her fault because they had to sacrifice to save her? Oh, now she's having a... She's having an attack for yeah. breathing. 
Oh no! Oh no! Huh. So I've been making sacrifices to this god to make sure that she stays healthy. Or at least you think that that's helping. Right. Like, it's unclear. It could be just superstition. Could be. Um, but yeah. So huh. now it looks like we're the grown up again. Ooh, that's the dress. Ooh. That's the sexy dress. Hello, oh hello, running water sound. <laughs> That's concerning. Oh, anymore. no, wait, wait, who's that? Who's That's that? Just oh, drawing. It's just, just drawing. It's just drawing stuff. What are you talking about? <sighs> fear down this hallway? Uh, Chris, don't sneeze. It's too scary right now. It is pretty intense. <laughs> Shining star, Kiki, connect the dots. Oh, and look, she made the dress. There's the dress. In okay. an earlier version, the dress is not, or in an earlier year, the dress is not done. Huh. So... Weird. What, what is going on This has become kind of like the daughter's playroom. Oh, it has, Seems yeah. Seems like maybe my wife. No, her pictures are still up. Big no, old. she's still here, but maybe you don't sleep in here anymore. Right. Oh. <laughs> There's the record player that's really expensive. Popular vinyl record player from back in the day. What is the pity I lost the record. You only had the one? <laughs> right. Not worth the expense, oh, but I have go. it, so okay. let's play it and listen to, the, I'm assuming, my wife's voice. What's that? What horrific that? thing is this? What's that? What's that? What horrific thing is this? Oh no, it's just that thing. It's just the thing. The the things hanging there? No. Nope, that is a, that's a sad crying girl over there. Where? Oh, hey, there she is. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's the crown. We need that crown. <laughs> For the stew or whatever. Li Fang's crown reduced to Mei Shin's plaything. This oh no! Spooky! Oh, what? oh no! Oh no, I legitimately just got like shivers. Oh it's no. So gr oh, that's so oh, awful. No. Oh god. Oh no. They do a good job with these games, man. Yeah, every time you turn around, it changes. They do a good job of like directing your focus oh. so you don't see when the things behind you are changing. On oh, their eyeballs? Oh, the eyeballs? Man. Oh, look, yeah, they totally oh, are. Oh, yeah. this is terrible. Oh, oh no! Oh, this is so terrifying. <laughs> oh no! I'm just gonna. Where's, where's my little miracle lighter here? There we go. God, I'm just gonna go into this room because I know what's in here and I don't think anything will change. Uh, gotta go. Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, Let's grab this dress and get out of here. There we go, tattered Kipau dress. Okay, great. Famous red Kipau dress from when she was popular. popular. Been sliced and torn. Uh oh. Because maybe she was stabbed in it? No, I think it was just me destroying it. Because yeah, I'm I think like, so. don't Because you're out. bitter and angry. Yeah. All right, so oh, this is where I was talking about my story before. So, anyway, my roommate from Taiwan was like, I will, don't worry. You can just bring the microwave or the refrigerator or whatever. I will bring the rice cooker. And I was like, the what? <laughs> We had never owned a rice cooker, but this was like so essential for her that she was like, don't worry, I got our rice cooker. And I was like, okay, we're gonna cook a lot of rice in college, I guess. <laughs> I was into it, I was into it, but I was, it was unexpected. Oh, this is no way. This is no I way. thought maybe toaster, hot plate. Ooh, the, this area has now evolved uh -oh. in some horrific way. So this... It has a microphone swinging over it, I guess. Is that a microphone? Yeah, it's a microphone. Oh, oh God! Bad. Oh no. no! 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 Thanks! No! Thanks! No! Oh no! Oh no! No! Thanks! No! Uh oh! No! Ah poop! Ah poop indeed! So let's see, 1986. What do we got? Uh. We got 
Lovers quarrel well. inside Du Fang Yu and Gong Li Fang's oh. rocky relationship. Personal lives clash, each cited at multiple events alone. Oh, that's those are the so that's the mom and dad. Former star uh, Li Fang's progeny is out of luck. Child star Du Mei Xin loses their winning streak and drops out of Sunday's showing. Aww. Viewers concerned about Mei Xin's future. So she was Yikes, doing written off at age six. Right. So she was doing really well on, or ten on or Star Search. Yeah, but then she diff. The, man, things must be different in China, where your whole life becomes horrible if you don't win Star Search. It's true. So she seemed to make a very good showing. What, that what seems was, like a great thing. What was the year with the picture? Oh, well. Wasn't it 1980? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think the. I think it was which this one. Was one. the first one we went into? Before we go back into the pot, like oh before we gosh. sacrifice the tiara and the dress into the pot, I want to make sure that we use the picture. Yeah, which okay. is this one. I'm going to try and read a couple of things off of Twitter while you are making your way through this decimated apartment. Well, here, here, there's the camera. Yeah, before you do, actually, let me see. This probably will prompt some cutscene. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Let's take a happy picture of my family, maybe. Uh, Not some horrific thing that's going to happen. Oh, she's at the piano. Yep. Good, we're getting a chance to retake the picture. Great. <laughs> she plays the piano the same way I type. <laughs> <laughs> One finger. Are you? Do, do you peck? No, no. I used to be a pecker. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Look, the picture turned out this time. Maybe she won't. Hey. Be okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if there's a fixing this situation. I don't think there's. I think that I. I think this is like. We just have to go back and relive what a horrible person we were. I don't think this is gonna have some sort of magical happy ending. I don't know about you. Sure. My five euro is on. This is not going to end well. Yeah, my, my five <laughs> euro, I would agree with. This is this is no bueno. Least bueno. Ugh, okay, all, all right. right. So we got the picture. Yes, presumably. I'm, I'm going to hunt around in Twitter just a little bit. Uh, at Maddie Moo too. Rice cookers are the best. Yes. Uh, at Lil Inky Kid. GT Live is streaming it right now. Apparently, someone was looking to, for this game. Um, let's see. Okay, so I took the picture. So I'm assuming now if I go back to the previous timeline, 1986, which is when the picture, when I'm like, this is only a half-developed picture. I wish... Right? Uh-oh. Oh, God. At Theorist Memes says, this is why Stephanie needs to check the chat. Seriously, saw this warning. I know you guys most likely won't see this, but please be careful. There's some super dark and disturbing content coming up. It made a streamer pass out. Please be careful. Okay, so we don't know the specifics oh, of it hello. because we're trying to keep blind to this game, but Chris does know when... Chris knows all. So uh, just be aware that he may cut away. We, were, we are not going to show any extremely graphic content or anything like that. That is never our intention. So just so you guys know, if you are waiting for like that moment or you're afraid of it, we are plan I, d I don't know when it is, I don't know what it is, but Chris is planning on cutting away because he already knows what it is, just so you know. To my beloved daughter, Lee Fang, marriage is a process of growing and learning. Uh -oh. Disputes between husband and wife are inevitable. Your father and I have also walked this path. Life can be messy, relationships erratic, but with old age, you begin to foster acceptance. If you choose to leave and come home, however, word will certainly get around. As a celebrity, no doubt you know how damaging gossip can be. Oh no. Oof, your child is still young and needs to have a proper family. I urge you to reconsider your rash, de rash decision and think of her well-being. I know she can be stubborn. He can be stubborn sometimes, but you don't have to clash with him on every little thing. Let bedroom quarrels stay in the bedroom. Minor disputes can always be taken civilly out of sight. Yikes. Okay. Man, so... Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. So her mom is like, hey, just suck it up and deal with it, basically. Yeah. Or like, don't don't air your dirty laundry. That is accurate. Yep. That's what's going which, on. Which culturally seems to be in line with, uh, yeah. with people we know who are from Asian, Asian families, whether... It, and not, not to be like... 
overly generalizing there, Chi but I've heard this from Chinese families, Japanese families, and Korean families. Okay, uh, I'm back in the horror room over here oh, because I'm hoping God. that this is, there we go. Yeah, there it is, it's fixed, so yay! For my birthday that year, Meishim played Home Sweet Home. The data at the bottom reads 716. Huzzah, okay, good. So I fixed so it. So we're fixed, did we're it, fixing something. Did it do anything though? Seven stars, a draw. This is, okay, so this, did this change maybe? Huh. It seems to be the same, doesn't it? It does seem to be the same. Interesting. Okay. So I don't know if this actually changed much of anything. Here, I'm gonna go make the sacrifice into the pot. But we did unlock the, a new picture, at least. Right? So okay. we are changing something. We're, yeah, we're fixing some things. I don't know if, yeah, I don't know. At Prof Evie on Twitter says, what, what is it with horror and eyeballs? I'm grossed out as it is. Here's the new one, okay. She's out of luck. Okay. Smiling okay. under the lens. Smiling under the lens. Okay, so this is just a new... Article? Uh, huh. Yeah, just a new picture. Here, Here, new article. Okay. Okay, so 1980... It was over here, I believe, is the, the sacrificial pot. It was 1985. At Gaither Swan says, bless you, Chris. <laughs> bless you because he sneezed, or bless you because he's going to make sure that we don't see the horrific, or that you guys don't see the horrific things. Both, I'm assuming. Because <laughs> I have a feeling we're not getting out of it. At uh, X Ediax or Zediax, maybe? This game sure is spooky. It most certainly is. Okay, so uh, let's put in our crown. Put in uh, our crown, and then we're also okay. going to put in our dress. And at uh, Maxi Fuqua Jr. says, don't cut away, that's for pansies. We really don't want to be offensive or over the top. Like anything that we really wouldn't like to be surprised by on a stream, like that's it when it comes to like blood and gore, we really don't want to show you guys. So well, it's, it's not because we're pansies, it's because we will actually want to be respectful to like everyone watching and we want to be like as friendly to as many people as possible, even though we are playing a horror game. And also like, hey, these streams don't really make a whole lot, so if we can avoid them getting demonetized, that would be great. That would also help. <laughs> <laughs> so many of them are either already claimed or, oh no. At Theorist Pikachu says, Chris knows all. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> what do we got going on? Oh, here we go. Here's a new one. A little merry-go-round oh, in the middle. Oh, great. Oh, oh my gosh. Those used to be my favorite. These are the best. And do you now ever play on those? They're illegal now. Them. I know. You can't yeah, have them anymore. Because the centripetal force is too much. It's too dangerous to kids. Too. School dean. Uh, on the issue of my child, uh, Mason's frequent non-attendance, I reiterate that my intentions are not to disrupt the school, disrupt the school trip arrangements. As her uh, contest date nears, we've had to step up the amount of training she's receiving. Oh man, she's under so much pressure. I have no doubt you've witnessed her exceptional talent and charm on TV. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. These attributes must Stage be parents. properly cultivated and developed. Every single minute of training is crucial to her growth. Her health and mental well-being are also of great importance. Sure. <laughs> she lists that sure, Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, and that too. The She's cold, making me famous and rich, but oh, yeah, this too. The cold front comes in along the shore around this time of year. Mation is prone to illness, and we are not to Oof. risk setbacks Oof. to her competitive readiness. I'm Oof. positive you wouldn't want to see that happen. Thus, as uh, just as before, I will have to withdraw her attendance from this Ooh. trip. Oh, she never gets to go Yikes, anywhere. Yikes, this is so sad. Rest assured, I will arrange separate educational outing at another time. I am confident that there are comparable trips we can go on that will be both instructive and fun for her. Please be understanding and considerate of Mason's particular needs. Ooh, With I sincerity, Feng Yu. I, I, think, I think they are being considerate and attentive to her needs. I think someone else isn't. Oh, here we go. Uh -oh. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh, it's playtime. Ah, no. Oh, no. no. Okay. Plum blossom, plum blossom. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, it's a zoetrope. Yes, that's awesome. Zoetropes are pretty awesome, actually. There used to be a cool display in Disneyland of zoetropes. Yeah. Really? Is that it? One of the oldest. Oh, my God. Is that it? We all good? Yeah, okay. look, that wasn't too bad. Right, okay. I say, as something like probably is gonna jump scare me. Right. 
1986. Okay, let's go. Uh, 86 is when I should be able to... This is... Mm. Oh, yeah, it's all different now. These are all the sacrificial... Ooh, and it's all oh, bloody wow. or whiny oh, or no. whatever. I don't think that Yeah, are these all the, all the sacrificial things, you think? think Looks so. like it. Oh, yeah, yeah. What? My house has been really remote. Like, we... Wow. <laughs> it's like the classic Back to the Future. You do something oh, and God. the picture changes. Uh. Except this time I did something and not only did the picture change... Oh, Chris, oh great. Chris flashed Thanks, up Chris. the disclaimer. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Sometimes it's scary when I'm playing this game with thousands of people watching, too. <laughs> Oh. Oh, this sounds like a therapist. Oh, here's the snake. Oh. Huh. Sounds like a spiritual healer? I, again, mentor is the uh, use of that word here. Huh. Oh, this snake is me out. Okay. Well, th so this is the, I'm assuming, uh, Gua Chapo, what is it? Chuaguanjin? Yeah. Guanyin? The, the snake god that daddy's been, like, making sacrifices to? Yes. For my prolonged health, that's supposed to be a spirit of goodness. Uh, I don't like walking on a giant snake body, though. <laughs> like, usually I'm not afraid of snakes. Like, this spiders, is, absolutely. Snakes, not so much. But, but this is... It's definitely... This is, this is no point out. Strange. This game has really good psychological horror going on. Where are we going with this? She pushed in? Or did she jump? What was the Daughter's achievement? Daughter's red? Is that what it says? Daughter's red, yeah. Huh. I'm so confused. What is going on? Script six. Love make. Okay, so these are one of my scripts, okay? Okay. Oh, you be Sweetheart. White. You are, you are our treasure. You must realize mother and father have staked our future on you. Oh, when we are old and can no longer walk, you will be there to provide for us, right? Understood, mother. Close up view of the, the wife's ornamental crest, silk garb, and gilded shoes. Oh boy. Promise, mother, that you will achieve renown and these valuable items will be yours. Thank you, mother. I promise I will not take your wish lightly. Oh, God. When I grow up, I will give back what is due and more. You will live a life of abundance. The wife is very pleased. She believes the struggle and effort poured into the past years will be worth it in the oh, end. Oh, no. So oh. now the mother is like channeling all of her lost like fame and dreams into the daughter. Oh, no. Okay, so we've got a carved relief fragment, oh, which we a couple of those, presumably. Yeah, it looks like that's only one piece. Oh, crap. I'm just gonna me. turn on my safety lighter here. Yeah. Don't mind me. Yeah. I'm trying to make Thank me God own. that that thing's actually got like a massive reservoir. <laughs> it's not running out. What a horrific thing. Oh, hello. Hi. It's the same thing. <laughs> 89. As you can tell. What score did our challenger get? Uh oh. 87, 88, 88. 88. Can we get another point? <laughs> oh! I hate when they hang on and leave me on a cliffhanger. That's the worst. Man, I was just getting invested in the show. Is there any reason to go over here? I feel like we've already done this section. Yeah, I I'm think just, we have. But I'm just gonna run through it just in case. I think yeah, we're all. Here I think we're good. Right yeah, we should be. The only thing we're. So it's 89, 88. She's right very now. composed, that little girl. Because the only thing we're missing still is the secret code for the. I know. Oh, what was that? Oh, was... oh wait, no, everything's covered in blood in here. No, no, it's just red. Oh. What? 
the dots. Okay, so yeah, we st we still don't know what the code is for the dresser. No. Right, that's the only thing that's And it's supposed on. to be in the favorite picture. Yeah, in my favorite picture. Which, I mean, still could be her drawing, but I don't know. Maybe the next thing will be unlocked if we go into another cutscene in the middle here. Right, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. What do we got? What what horrific things will wait me this Sam time? Silver Eyes, uh, when you cut away to whatever part of the game, can you tell us what we missed if it was related to the plot? Of course. Of course we will tell you. Never like, forget. We won't, we won't let it, any plot points like slip through the cracks. All illnesses can be eliminated. All suffering originates from the evil in, within us. Uh-oh. Uh, mm. I, I, uh, I would contest that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I'm not 100% sure that's accurate, but okay. Have we been down this hallway yet? Right? Oh no, this is how we got in to begin with, oh, right? Okay. It? I don't know. Oh, this is, okay. This crest is missing something, so here. Oh, there we go. There's part the of it? The pieces are incomplete and can't be placed yet. Okay, there so we, we have go. to get all three of them. Collect the fragments like. of the past. Okay, traverse, traverse into a, to a flawless, flawless present. present. Okay, so we've got one. And I that's don't know. So that, that whole premise seems flawed to me. There's this whole idea that she has to be perfect, and I don't... I think the, f the idea of a flawless presence, present is a ruse. Oh, I'm, I'm sure, I'm, I'm I'm sure this has no happy ending, Steph. I'm sure that this is just some horrific uh, cycle of perpetual regret because this is one of those sorts of games. Oh, t wait, someone said Tulip in Flower Pot from 1980. That makes sense. I can't I read your name because it's in, uh, it looks like Mandarin. Well, perfect Not timing because sure. that is actually where I am right now. There you go. Perfect. Awesome. Oh. Ooh. There it goes. Oh, I hate when it. Shoot. I hate when my flower pot eats my. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh man, I have such a black thumb. Seeing someone be able to grow plants is amazing. Okay, I hope it blossoms beautifully in the future. Okay. So that's gonna show up later. Okay. And then I think I figured it out, right? So the picture. The code. Yeah. I'm assuming is going to be f from the picture that I took. Oh. So this. Oh. This is my secret. It's on my favorite picture. So my favorite picture, I think, is going to end up being the picture, the picture that, that I we took. took okay. I think. Maybe. We'll see. I didn't see that having any numbers. I didn't think it had though. numbers either. But it, mu it must have, because it was like, oh, this is my birthday at whatever. So we have the, f and we've used all our items at this point. Yeah. Except okay. for the one that we need to collect the three of to unlock the, the last door. Right. So. What happened with the cauldron again? It, that was the snake cutscene. Oh, that's right. Okay. Or the snake, ex the walking experience. Okay. Stephanie. Okay. So we have a flower pot that's going to bloom in a future year, which I'm assuming is 85. Okay. And then we have the picture in 86, which I think is going to give us the numbers that we need for 80. Okay, And then good. that should be all three of the secrets. Uh, Natalie Smith. Ah, look, it's Bloom. Oh, oh my gosh, that's oh, so nice. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool. Aw, that's really neat, actually. Natalie Smith says, hi, I love you guys. I've always watched your, uh, your streams, but never there live, and I finally caught you. Welcome. Oh, this is a decidedly much happier one. Oh, good. Typhoon weather, maybe not, maybe not as happy as I had expected. Oh. oh, the storybook. As I lay in bed, he read each page aloud to me. She drew on pages. It made the story sillier. Oh, look, I'm becoming a Oh, this is, this is nice. Oh, so she made a bunch of tulips and it made her breathing better. Oh, she had the best looking tulip in the And I never read it to her again, did I? No. I never read it to her again, which is why it's still in the book. Yep. Aww. Ooh, Ooh this, this is heavy, man. 
Tulip, script, close up, in the faint candlelight, the husband sits disheartened at his writing desk. Ugh, I can't think of anything. Am I reaching the limits of my creativity? Close up, outside the room, the child sits on the floor, find it, fiddling with a piece of paper. The husband glances over and notices that it's one of his rejected scripts. Put that down this instant. The husband rushes forward, grabs the paper, and finds it's been folded into a flower. Father, look, I made this tulip for you. With mixed feelings, the husband takes the paper flower. These papers that were despised by the world were treasures in the eyes of his child. Aww. Oh, that's really sweet. Metal really fragment. There's a man carved on it. So we've got, we've got me, we've got my wife. So now we just need my baby. <laughs> Anything else interesting? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, I love how they segue Cut. between these scenes. It's really effective. It's really smart. Really, really effective. Okay. Okay. So, my favorite. It must. It must be the camera photo. Yeah. Which is only, right? which is only visible in eighty six. Right. Yeah, I think so. Then should unlock 80. Right. Uh. This is all the normal stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <sighs> and this should also have completed. Yep. This this series of articles. So we have. Which ones do we have? We have wine, the essence of earth and water, as it circulates within your chi is connected, your body warmed, and the chill forced out. Friday science tip, we already saw, and then daily origami dexterity tulips. origami tulips. That's awesome. fun. Okay. So we need 86 right here. Which presumably will get us the photo and the date, which I. Right? You, you would think that we would have like seen it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I'm actually surprised that we didn't catch it. I hate this. 80. Uh, oh shoot, where is this picture? Uh, maybe it's in. Is it this maybe? picture? That would. I mean, it would make sense, right? Because it's the only, like, of the kind of puzzles oh, that we've had to solve. People in the chat are guessing. So we've we've I'm seen this number. Is it 88, 89, or no, 89, 88? No. That's the other thing I'm thinking. It's the date that the. They think it's the date that the photo was taken. I believe which is that. 07, uh, uh, 716, so July 16th, 07, 0716. I, I was going to say, I was we wondering. We could try if, that one. Because it did say, like, my birthday. Oh, Maddie Carney says you have it. Do we have it in our inventory? Do we take it? Oh, did I pick it up? It's not in my inventory inventory. Here, let's try But it might else? be in my. Like your shuffle of papers? Yeah, let me. Oh, yeah, it is in there. Uh, Letter. We got a lot of stuff, man. There it is. Birthday photo, 716. 716, there it is. Yep. Yeah, good one, guys. Thanks, Ga uh, Gabrielle Ternulo, um, Natalie Newman, um, someone else who's writing in Taiwanese, uh, Jake Whitehead, The Dictator Tot. Yeah, Rachel Recycles uh, says, you did. Oh, 0716. Okay, there you good. Go. We got it. Yeah. Okay. See, we were on the right track. I yeah, just we forgot that there. we picked it up. Uh, what's in the closet? Uh, oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh, what? Ooh. Ooh. This is like a Narnia situation, but oh, much less fun. I'm a babby. Oh, yeah. Wait, what year is this one? This is 19. This is what? 80. 80? Okay, so this is, the babby is a babby. The babby is truly a babby. Ooh, with an advocate. Oh, microphones. Oh, hello. And hello, Spooky. Ooh. Okay. Your guardian lion. What is that? An abacus. Oh, okay. Three hundred twenty-four days. Night sky. The mimi city. Ooh. Every grandma comes when the baby comes. Papa and mama always call to greet him. But I think Pei Ke is more difficult to talk to. It's such a drag having to speak to guests. Hashtag relatable. 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 Hashtag rel
I always loved hiding in those circular racks in the department store. Those were the best. That was my favorite. Don't you hate it when your parents tell you to like go, go meet everyone? You don't know what Is this what the world is to Oliver? Oh this my is it, God. right here. This is it. Oh no. This is what he's going through. Yeah, except every poor guy. Day. And we put him in front of a microphone constantly. This girl is so, so sweet. That's a bummer. God, stage parents, man. I know. Poor kids. Stage, stage oh, parents. Oh, there's the third one. A script, birthday garb. Scene seven, mountain path exterior. Hearing news of a child's first birthday, distant friends and relatives come to celebrate. Relative A. When you mature, you're defi you'll definitely be accomplished. You can become an imperial officer, official. Or, or you can become a merchant. Being a doctor is good. How about a general? You will be prosperous. Gain notoriety. Acquire <laughs> prestige. They all take turns to touch the child's head as a blessing of luck, as a token of safety. And we've got our last relief fragment. Huzzah. Little relief, there's a girl carved on it. Oh my gosh, we got the three pieces of this family. Woo, let's go. We are family, carved into a metal ring. <laughs> carved into a metal relief. We are family. Come on, everybody. Open the door to some whatever new horrors await <laughs> us. Okay, so everything should be complete here. Right. We got our, she retired, so our celebrity wife retires. Communication between child and parent is crucial. Do not neglect to show affection. The birthday grab test for one-year-olds. Get a glimpse into their future career. We're totally doing this with Ollie, by the way. Yep. The fluttering feathers premieres on the big screen. It's panned by critics. So I, I we will not hold him to it. No. <laughs> or will we mm. put him up on stage? I don't think um, so. This, is, this hallway has become significantly less happy. What happened to this perfect future? Oh, oh the perfect future is always out of oh. reach. It's symbolic. This is actually the end of the game. The Done. flawless future. It's it's like uh, it's like Super Mario, the endless staircase. Right. Yeah, okay, we gotta go. Oh, oh. don't turn around. Uh oh. Dust call me Zars in town. Uh oh. Oh. No! 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 Did she drown us? In my own blood. Wait, oh. reloading last checkpoint. What happened? Did Wait, we die? I, I you died? I, oh, I did die. Oh, we weren't supposed to let that happen. Weird. That's a, that's like the first time you can actually die. I was going to say, I, I thought the jump scares were just like sort of inevitable. Right? Yeah, I thought this was all kind of like just <sighs> scripted puzzle events. Turn, run. So apparently, we're, are we supposed to turn around and run? Well, I can't turn around anymore. OK. I'm kind of stuck in this sequence. OK. Okay, so there she is. Dash, Aha. dash, run, 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 run. There we go. Oh, okay, got it. So run, oh, oh. Okay. Or just run away, okay. Ooh, hello. Okay, so, okay. So basically Don't turn this around, is, keep running is so what everyone says. this is me says. running away from my wife. Okay. As you do. Symbolically and literally. Quite, quite literally in this case. Do the dishes, no! no! I want to write my scripts! I just want to be a bad screenwriter! No, don't hold me responsible for my actions. I had a kid, but I don't really want to spend time with her. She's kind of lame in her story edition. She's not. Ruminating. She's really cute. Yeah, she's actually really great. <laughs> she's, she's awesome. she's also super talented, apparently. Keep running indefinitely. I'm hoping the sequence will end at some point. Man, this door just was complete clickbait. It was like, go here for your perfect, you know, your flawless future I know, or whatever. come on. Flawless future with my wife who wants to eat my face off. Oh, that's Oh, no, that's no, 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 Nope, that's a big old no. Run away. That's, that's a big old. Run away. Big old no. How the heck are we going to get out of here? Just. Keep going. 
Are we going in circles or is this supposed to go somewhere? I'm assuming that at some point we'll... Have... Should we just do that thing where you keep turning oh, right oh, or something? I heard angry screams in my general uh -huh. vicinity. I'm assuming at some point all the doors will have been opened or something. Or something. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, this is a nice straight hallway. Okay. I think that's what bodes well. Okay. And by bodes well, I mean it's completely neutral. You have no idea. Ooh, what's this? What? No. No, Keep going. I'm like, I'm like, don't stop! Don't stop! Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, we had something new. Yes! Here we go. Yes! Press something. Press something. Here we go. Oh, come on. No. 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 Come on. No. Go. 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 Oh. 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 Elevator to heck! Uh oh, no, 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 Go. no, press buttons, press buttons, press buttons, There's press she. buttons! Oh. Here she comes, here she comes again, my beautiful one. Oh, jeez, she's, oh. no, she's, she's seen better days. Okay, let's okay. mash, mash buttons! Oh, there's nothing something. I can do, Steph. Space bar! There's nothing I can no. do. No? We just have to look, look. She was lying to me the whole time. Aww. She was actually Ring Girl. She's probably in here already anyway. You can teleport. Oh, listen, oh, to, listen to that music. Yikes. Jelly B3311 says, why did I just laugh a little? Oh, oh. Li Fang, our treasure depot. Congrats on the return to the spotlight. Oh man, she left our deadbeat butt. Mm. Oh, right back. Like the money. Money. I put it into one word. Ooh, thunderous slander! Whoa! Oh. <gasps> wow! Whoa! That was too hard. Oh. Oh, someone call Keemstar. We got a couple ready for drama alert. Yeah. Wow. Tribute money. Hey man, I, res I respect her authenticity. Oh, mystical charms uh, to everything. Even insisted I was haunted by something malicious. That I should appeal to Guan Yin. Huh. That's interesting. Wow. <laughs> that is pretty weird. Huh. Steph, I think you're possessed. By the spirit of awesome. Yeah! To his mentor. Probably shouldn't be airing this on a radio. Yeah, maybe this show. was not the right forum for this. I mean, I appreciate an outspoken lady. After I'm done filming, I'll take my family. I, I don't know. Find a place that's simple and clean. Like that. the opening of Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so. Meanwhile, Keemstar is just sitting in the corner eating popcorn. So she, right? I know. All right, so she leaves your buns and goes back to the film. Career. She leaves our buns, our buns I should say. Life, she yeah. leaves our collective, our collective buns. buns have been left. Yeah. And tries to... So it seems like... Is this really just uh, an analogy for Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise? Are we a Scientologist? <laughs> no, we're just... Doing some like, weird... Huh. Some like weird spiritual stuff. Our wife is like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm out. And, and brings our daughter, Siri. I can't believe I know all that about. Tom I know. I, I'm like I have no idea what you're talking right? about. Right. Cool. Great. No, I think this is it. You don't. You can't open an umbrella indoors. That's why you're unlucky. Right. I know. That's just can't bad. do that. That's just poor form. Chris, back me up on this though. We're we are. This is the story of Tom Cruise, is it not? I think pretty clearly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, some people are just really superstitious. I don't know. Like uh, certain religions really feel strongly about their gods. No, you know? I know. This like guy Tom does Cruise. seem a bit extreme. I mean, maybe he's right though. Maybe we are possessed by something. Completed metal relief. The whole family has carved onto it. So we're gonna use it. Okay. Nice. We've unlocked the perfect future, which I think this, I, so my prediction here is that this section is gonna be how it's not possible. Like we're gonna enter into it. Yeah, and But it's the takeaway is gonna be it's not real, right? Yeah. That this whole time I sacrificed my daughter and my wife and whatever 
and sacrificed all this money and stuff for the perfect future. Oh, for this reality that's all made of like mannequins or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Rock it out, girl. Daughter rocking it out. Yeah. I am her devoted fan. Indeed. I love her. I'm a good father. Perfect future. I'm just gonna focus on her because I feel like the game might be putting me to the test. Right. If I turn away, I'm gonna show that I'm a bad father, and they'll be like, "You don't deserve her as a daughter." That's my prediction. So I'm just. No check right. no live Turn tweeting. On. I'm not live tweeting this in China on Weibo or Weibo or whatever the social media network is in China. All focused in on her. Okay. Not checking okay. the watch. This is really slow though. It's taking a long time. Really. Really wish she had oh, chosen man. a more upbeat number. People, no, people are saying no, no, you should look around. People are saying you really should look around. Oh, there. Oh, there's my daughter. Oh, in the oh, corner. Oh, boy. Hi. Oh, that's oh, creepy no. as heck. Leave, leave your seat. You can leave your seat. I can. I don't want to. My daughter just like did the creepy stare on me. Oh, oh no. See, this is what happens. I'm no longer. See, I'm just hit the booty fan, and then y'all told me to get up. You all told like things were fine. I think eventually you would have had to get up. Regardless. You know, life is better if you just focus Literally on television. And okay. Spiritual. I think what we all learned here is that sometimes you shouldn't leave your couch and you should just continue watching TV oh, where God. life is perfect. Oh no. Instead of going into your like evil daughter's room where she's gonna jump scare you. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Are you Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> so creepy. She behind the glass. Everything Where about, is she? Everything about this game is so creepy. Oh, <laughs> On her again. This is her when she is. Yeah, she can't breathe at night. Is she having panic attacks? Is that what's going on here? Well, she has some medical conditions too. Well, oh, I know, but when when she said like, "Oh, folding origami made me feel better," it's like when she calms down, she no, feels better. I, I think. Well, as evidenced by the like tapping of the marbles, the tapping of the marbles. So like, she has a medical condition, but it's ex exas yes. exacerbated. Exacerbated by by panic yeah. and stress. Oh God, that was terrifying. Ooh. 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 <laughs> so, so creepy. Oh, don't nope 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 nope. Man, I've, I've I haven't aged well. Yeah, and we're not looking good. Yeah, yeah it's been been rough. Okay. Uh, medical order. President, patient's x-ray and blood work analysis normal. No physical ailments observed. Recommend referral to psychiatric department. Yep. Oh, look at my thumbs, man. Oh. Like, Wait, so, okay, so now we're, wait, now we're the dad. Oh, no, it's the daughter. It's the daughter. She, she is. She's having, like, panic attacks. She's really stressed out. But she's being sent to an asylum. N not an asylum. Yeah, just a, psycho a psychiatric clinic. Sure. Oh, I guess so. That's true. But There's he an just, imply, he just, like, and he just jumped to the conclusion that yeah, okay. yeah, that makes sense. Like, don't call me crazy. She doesn't need a therapist. Let's listen to this. I'll mentor Hui. Oh, hey. Seems like her condition's been serious for a while now. See Gu Guanyin for guidance. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I don't know, man. I don't. 
I don't trust this mentor. She's been like this like sinister. She, yeah, in the right. This seems this like it's weird. I don't, I don't know. It keeps being like this mysterious. I think she might be a, like a, a huckster trying to get money from us or something. I also don't know, like, I don't know the cultural significance of any of this. I really, I wish I had a little bit more background and so how, that I could understand whether this is normal. And how, yeah, how pronounced like, or, like, how usual wide thing? this belief is. Yeah. Take pity on her, purify her spirit, recover her soul. She's she's not possessed, she's just real stressed out, it sounds like. She maybe has asthma. Bad asthma. What do I see? Oh, Chris is flashing oh, thanks, warning. Thanks, Chris. Do you see the candle flame? What, what is her condition? Slightly askew of where the wick should be. Right? Don't most candles do that? You might be reading a bit too much into that. Uh, any signs of So am I seeing this through the red blindfold, I guess? Try looking for a way out. Hmm. Where's our trusty lighter? Right? Do I have my lighter? I do not have my lighter. I tried. Oh, here we go. Okay. There we go. This All right, good. Just good. Like blindly. The Guan Yin will lead me further. Okay, great. Where are oh, we? That's, that's blocked. That. Nope. That's blockade. Hello. The Guan Yin is not, not, not efficient in this Guan leading. The Guan Yin should have given me. Well, really appreciated the Guan Yin to like give me. Yeah, that lighter. Okay, so this was down into the basement. So now, oh, we're going down somewhere. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh. Apparently oh. this is a ritual that's used to possess your own body. Follow any lights once you find, let me know if you find something. Look for anything my shin may have left behind. Huh. Unearned Salvation says, not the candle inside you, they don't flicker. <laughs> you can't. Huh. The, apparently this is a technique. Interesting. Um, I'm going to butcher this name, but Tang Sihing says oh, it's a way to possess your own body. Okay, we found something. That's okay. Cool. Paper okay, boat. Paper boat. So it is floating up water. So this is the guidance. Waters offer passage, the ferry offers transport. I request the Yu Guan Yin to lead the way forward. Huh. Okay. Floating. Okay. They're sandbags. Yes. Yeah. Sandbank is the embodiment. Manifesting as your path onward. You may proceed. Okay, okay, so I'm following all these boats. Okay. Kind of go down. Okay. This is this is basically the ending scene of Tangled, except with boats instead of lanterns. Okay. See, I'm relating this to the stuff that I recommend. So this, yeah, and this this is a specific ritual. I do see a light boat. That's it. Mentor isn't referring to a teacher, but a consultant, a professional possessing more knowledge than the client for this like spiritual means. So we had this debate last time, if you were in the last stream we did of this, where we talked about like what do they mean by mentor? Because it didn't seem to be like a definite like the same definition that we understand. Watch my step. Keep following the light as opposed yeah. to the under okay. Disregard the people under the bridge. Oh, the flames are their wrongdoing. Oh, oh geez. Well. Oh, wow. All right. So Just they're all burning below us. Pay, oh my gosh. Pay no Here, attention. Don't, don't walk into the pit there. Yeah, pay no attention to the Snake people. Round. Pay no attention to the people who are suffering eternal torment uh, oh, by you. No. It's it, NBD. NBD, guys. Just, just people suffering in the flames of their eternal sin. Great. Oh, okay. Oh, an archway, yeah, I found the archway. Is there still, yeah, there is still a path. Stay away, yeah. Aloha Kiala says everything connected to Tangled. This is a fabled boundless stairway. 
I humbly invoke the Yuguanian to descend upon this world in all its glory. Oh, this is the part of heck where sinners receive their eternal punishment. But that doesn't concern me. Don't touch anything. Make haste. Okay. Don't worry, your daughter isn't here. Great. Appreciate that's, your confidence. That's nice. I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm just gonna lightly tour around as people are getting crushed under rocks. Don't don't worry. Don't worry, sir. You're just in, in heck. Eight to double hockey stick. Right. They were sinners in life. Don't worry. They deserve no compassion. Just don't fall off the bridge. Okay. Oh, man. Maybe oh. they were just having a rough time, you know? It's nice of them to hold my bridge together. Right. They're, they're doing good work there. Oh, boy. There's there are a lot of them. Do not stop. Keep on going. Okay. Yep. I'm working on it. Oh, boy. <sighs> this is unsettling. Hmm. It's like the fighting wireframes from, from Super Smash yeah, Brothers. Right. Except they're fighting for their eternal souls. All right. Okay. Okay. Very good. You made it through. Thank you. I did walk straight fairly effectively. Tell me not to touch. Not really inclined to touch many things in uh, heck. Just right. want to limit my time in here as much as possible. Really, just looking. Looking to get out. What do you see? A tree. I do see a tree. That's my tree of life. It does not look. Super it doesn't look great. lively. <laughs> I want to witness the will of Sigu Guanyin. Okay, this is going to take okay. me to my inner self. Okay. Okay. Don't look back. Okay. Here we go. Into my inner self. This is, the, again, relating it to things that I understand in my day to day life. This is like Link en entering the Great Deku Tree right? to start his journey <gasps> to find the Ocarina of Time. Oh boy. It's, oh it's like boy. The, totally hashtag relatable. Every elf boy goes through this process. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, you know, the journey through. Wow, uh, this is taking a while to load, huh? The, the purgatory, yeah. Oh, jeez. All right, I'll, I'll hop over to Twitter. Uh, okay. This definitely screams Dante's Inferno. Certainly. Uh, unless this is my literature nerdiness in full effect, says at, at Gabby Dreamstar. Uh, this may be something that's specific to um, to Taiwanese cultural beliefs. I don't know. Um, reminds me of uh, the myth of Orpheus and Eurydice. Uh, Orpheus not looking back at Hades, says at uh, KMC995. This hellscape is very dark, says so Tarnished Dragon. This is very, com this is very comforting. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, this reminds me of Hellblade, says, at Wayward Bard. Chris, is this supposed to load? <laughs> yeah, this seems... Long. Wrong. Shoot. <laughs> we we Shoot. conquered heck! Gah! Okay, here, I have I, to hop out. Should I escape? What should yeah. I do here? Shoot. I have to duck out, go get Shoot. Our, little, our little dude. I don't know what to do. Good luck. Like, I can't, thanks. Carry on. Oh, of course. Carry on. That didn't work. Uh, this is either the longest here. I'm going to task manage this. Hold up. Yeah, we're just going to reset it, I guess. It's not responding. So I'm going to just end task. And then devotion is where? Any idea, Chris? Oh, there it is. I see oh, it. Oh, yeah. I got it. Come on, devotion. You can do it. Load it up. Here we go. Red candle. Huh. Some parts can considered violent or cruel. Yeah, it's pretty intense. This is game. Fortunately, fortunately, are fictitious. Any resemblance to actual people is coincidence. That's funny. So continue. I don't know where it's going to start me off, though. Yeah, hopefully... Okay, ah, good. Okay, I mean, this isn't too far back. I just got to walk This wasn't too long. So, Chris, out of here, since you know where we're headed, is this best saved for a third stream, or are we close to the end? Um, I mean, all the way through, there's probably... 
about 20 to 30 minutes left, depending on what you might dot on. Cute, okay. So we could, and just combine it with another game, if you like. I do want Stephanie to see the end of this, though. We could, like, combine this with, um, with Thursday's stream. Finish it out, and then move over to a similarly themed game, or a totally new game. Okay. I think let's maybe do that, but before I stop, I do want to see if I can get through this tree. I would love to see if you get through the tree. Right? I'm, I'm hoping that the tree isn't broken. Because if the tree's broken, we might have to do a little bit of work behind the scenes to make this happen. <laughs> and it would make perfect sense to stop it there, so... Do I see the tree? The tree of life not looking too hot? You must look inside for yourself, okay. Or must look inside yourself. You must take me to my inner self, okay. Great. So here I go, entering my tree. Boom. Yeah. Oh, there we go, okay. At least you here is your inner self. You have to find the way up. The path will lead you towards the deepest parts of your inner being. Ooh, I've got all sorts of pens. So this is all indicative of my writing. Very clearly. My own personal uh, hexscape is littered with uh, the pens of my writing work. This is basically me writing uh, your one Shen palace. Your one Shen will be inside. Use your one Shen to admit you Guan Yin's guidance. Alright, here we go. I do see an entrance. After entering, you'll be on your own. You must ignore anything and everything you hear. If you run into trouble, the mantra of seeing you Guan Yin will aid you. Oh, so they're both framed with the pen. This one's closed. Is it multiple endings? Is it two different pathways? No, there's always an open path. The Yu Guan Yin blocks your way, it's only to lead you down a better path. Huh. That's really interesting. So there's two paths, but Si Yu wants me to go down this one because it's the better path. Ooh. And she said, ignore everything that I hear and see. So I will do that. Look here, it's me. Don't look. Some years and you've forgotten me already. I don't know who you are. I do know the little flower you're talking about. I'm ignoring you. You're some devil tempter. Places with their own nails. Yellowed or wilted. She's watered with her own blood. That is not an effective way to water a plant. Thing, unless it's like Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Although bone meal and blood meal are very for, like, good for like crops and stuff. My dad would use it in his garden. Even if it's brown, it's not very familiar. Actually, it's so hard. This seems like a terrible plan. Very symbolic of my daughter, strangely. So the chance to save her. Go on. Just up ahead. Alright. Now claim what you deserve, your greatest hope. Look, I didn't listen to you. Evil one. You don't. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! No! Uh, hey! Oh, this is. 
不要这样乱说，爸爸做的很好，妈妈做的最好的。Dad treats me the best. She's my favorite person. Oh my gosh, this is totally Majora's Mask level. Take me out, Daddy. Daddy, I'm gonna play. Daddy won't let you out because I'm irresponsible. I'm sorry. Daddy's gotta work on the scripts. Daddy's gotta earn a living for the house. I'm gonna go and play. Daddy, let me out. Okay. Can't my mantra. There we go. My mantra worked. Nailed it. If you do, your stalwart faith has driven away all evil. Thus, the Yu Guan Yin has manifest, manifested. Nation's soul is trapped here. If you are to rescue her, you must make a solemn oath. Oh, the Yu Guan Yin. Every time you flash up that disclaimer, it freaks me out, Chris. <laughs> Makes me real nervous. This is uh, this is the time to be nervous. To be nervous. <laughs> so there's a spoon. <laughs> uh, okay. What do we got on the other side? That might tell me why I need to be nervous. Is it a spoon and a fork? Am I gonna eat a delicious meal in honor of Sigyu Guanyin? Uh, okay, so this is here. This is where I entered. What's on the other side? Any? Or am I blocked? Do I have to do the spoon first? Like spoon is first. What horrific thing does one do with a spoon that deserves Chris giving a warning? Hmm. Should I save this for Stephanie? Maybe I save this for Stephanie. The scariest part? <laughs> Maybe I save this for Stephanie, the scariest part. For me and Steph. Ah. Uh... So that way, you know, she can, not that I need someone to hold me throughout this process or, you know, someone to, to be scared with, but uh, maybe that's actually why. <laughs> so that way we can experience, I, it would be wrong of me to experience the end of this story without her, especially when there's a whole half hour left of the story. Like, I don't want to rush things. Well, now it's about 20 minutes. I don't, I, I mean, Ollie's here. This whole, <laughs> Chris, this whole story is about... You know, a father working on his scripts instead of hanging out with his kid. And here's Oliver right there being like, Hey, Dad, don't hang out with myst mystery scary spoon. Come hang out with me. Yes, Oliver, I will come and hang out with you in your Pollo Loco bag. <laughs> <laughs> Which, hey, good choice. Good choice, Pollo Loco. Um, so we're going to finish this on, you said Thursday is the day. So tomorrow we have podcast. T series. We got T series going on tomorrow, and then what? Wednesday or Thursday? And then yeah, we'll get back to this on Thursday, and we'll also start up something else. All right. So Thursday we are finishing this. All right, as well as something else because there's 20 minutes left. Right? And you don't want to miss the end, right, Steph? I don't want to miss the end. Right, and we got to take Oliver back home anyway. All right. So we're gonna. I gotta head out. I am really excited to see what this horrible thing that Chris is, is warning everyone about. I'm sorry to leave it on a cliffhanger. Um, but find out at the start of the stream on Thursday, I guess, is when we're going to do this. Um, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow for uh, the second installment of our little podcast experiment T-series, uh, GT Live, where we're talking about all the kind of news and and drama and issues that are going on in and around YouTube and gaming and just the world in general. Uh, we had a lot of fun with that last week. You guys seem to really uh, enjoy it. So we have more of that tomorrow to see how you guys like it, how the podcast kind of continues to evolve and grow. So uh, hopefully you will be there 
Uh, and in the meantime, have a great night. I'm going to go hang out with Oliver, and then once he's asleep, I will finish writing the scripts. So that way I don't live in perpetual torment surrounded by my pens. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, that is just a stream. A live stream. See you tomorrow. Say goodbye on Twitter. That's right, I'm on Twitter. Um, uh, Krista Camp Campisi says, Oh, I'm excited to see the ending and find out what the next game is. That is on Thursday, my friend. Ren uh, at Wayward Bard. Chris, set him up with something fluffy after this. <laughs> Great. Uh, at Gay Theorist One says, Yes, the tea will be spilt tomorrow. At Jacob.